My name is Gary Irvin and uh, I'm a retired electronics engineer living in the village for the last uh, 30 years. Being an engineer I feel that the bridge is uh, really a testament to engineering because it covers all aspects of engineering and it affects engineers today. Well there's a lot of uh, uh, methodologies, uh, motivations, everything that went into building the bridge um, is now almost part and parcel of an engineer's uh, uh, education from bridge building directly or if it's project management or is it uh, managing steel or many many other things that was developed at the time. Uh, well that was way back in 1960s when I came up here with the boys brigade on a visit to South Queensferry and that's when I saw the bridge and it was uh, it had a lasting impression to be honest. Uh, my father was a model engineer and, and as such he, he built things from scratch. From a piece of rod he made uh, different things and from a, a wheel he, he cast it and cleaned it up and essentially assembled the whole little steam engine. It wasn't very much but so big but that's pretty good. And um, they did the, exactly the same here where they took the raw materials and uh, created the girders and uh, all the rivets and everything else that was formed the bridge. So. It was pretty impressive. It was enough to make a lasting memory, of course. Uh, you'll have the, the extremes. Oh, wow, that's big. And then others saying, now how did they build that? And etc. So there's a, a lot, a lot of interest. They just enjoy it because they, we're all enjoying the fruits of the, the labors of all the engineers that developed it and all the people that died developing it. And uh, so there's, it's well worth coming to visit and uh, enjoying it. You think of Scotland, you think of the fourth bridge.